guys, hello. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this. I just designed it like 10 minutes ago. So I decided, why don't I make a tutorial now? Anyway, what it is, is it's a crab. So, here goes. <laughs> Alright, everybody. So, okay. And you can see, I'm using double colored workout paper from Amazon.com. You do not know how many times I've had to redo this video. I have like 10 crabs. Anyway, so. I'm using this paper from Amazon.com. .com. And so when you make your crab, if you're using colored paper, then what you're going to want to do is decide, so on the crab to see, um, his skin is pink. And his eyeballers are red. And inside of him is red, and outside of him is pink with his little pinchers. Well, if I wanted purple to be that color, then instead of folding it this way, like you usually would do to the outside, you're gonna start by folding it that way. Got it? So, purple is gonna be on the outside, but I won't do it. So, Folding it this way. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. And fold it. Just like so. Unfold and fold half this way. So, what we're going to be doing here is making uh, the base for a crow. I mean, a crane. I don't know if that's the official term for it, crow, crane, <laughs> face, but that's what we're going to be doing. So, now that we have two crosses in it, we are going to turn it upside down. And to fold this up to make a little twine. Get a sharp crease. Unfold it. And now, if you look at this, if on the back, if you take your finger and push onto it, you'll see it starts to collapse itself. And then you just want to let it go and turn it into a little square. So, we are taking it. And pressing down the center and just turning into our cute little innocent neighborhood square. Anyway, now if you take your square and turn it into a diamond <laughs> and with the opening sides on the bottom, you'll find that there are two straps and two little leg looking things. If you take the two flaps, I said straps, but I meant to say flops. And fold one of them to the very merry top. And you know what? Let's just do the same with that side too. Then what we're gonna have to do here is as you can see our two legs are now free to walk. Anyway, um, it opens up on the side here, your little thingies open up, and if you keep this part nice and secure, you can just widen it out and collapse it up onto itself. You want to make sure it's not going farther inside of it than you want it to, just up to the top, and 
sort of squeeze these in and fold it over onto itself. So here it is and we're pushing it in, creasing these and folding it down. And that, my friend, will make our little pinchers. Anyway, so do the exact same thing on the other side and widen it out and push it down. And so now our pinchers are made. Anyway, we're gonna make the eyeballs now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this point, this flap here, and fold it to the top or in between the two pinchers. Then we're gonna take it and we're gonna fold it back. And when we fold it back, we want to fold it, and so this crease here, it goes just barely above that crease. We'll crease it here, pull it just above it, and crease it. And then we're going to take that excess of uh, stuff here, <laughs> paper, and fold it down. So taking it. I don't know if you can see this, but, and then just fold it down, like that. See what I did there? Anyway, okay. and then we're gonna take the whole shamil of eyeballers and fold it over like that so that it sticks up. And open it back up, and there you have your crab eyeballs. Now. What we're gonna need to do is make the arms and legs of your crab. So go to the side, right or left, it doesn't matter which one you do first. And there will be two floppies. Sorry about that glitch. Anyway, I'll take my crab, as I was saying, to make the arms. And where I want, yes, okay, so, um, you don't want to be grabbing this part of the pinchers right here. This part here of them is in between these two flaps. Don't grab it when you take the top part and fold it over. And you just want to fold it about, I don't know, that much. Uh, Itself, and turn it around and fold the bottom as well, same length. And take them out a bit, and then turn it around and do try to get the same length on them. It'll make it stand up more even when it's all done and finished. Then you can, if you so desire, take the top and fold the top of your triangle down very slightly and then fold back up. So they're like little tiny hands on your little tiny crab. To eat you. There you go. Now, if you turn it upside down into the back. You can take the very tip of your alligator and just fold it down, maybe about the same length as your uh, arms or smaller. It shouldn't be bigger or else your crab will look like it's tilting forward all the time. And that won't be cool. Your crab will look like an idiot and then it'll be made fun of called terrible nicknames like Tilty and things like that. You don't want that. Anyway, there is your completed product, son. So now if you take a good look at your crab, you'll see those pinchers are pretty pinchy and they'll pinch you right off your 
onions. Anyway, there it is. And there's all sorts of crabs you can make. Different colors of paper. All different sorts, different sizes, different species. Make your own variations, have some fun with it. And there's your crab. I'm glad you could join us today. Hope you have fun. I really do. Goodbye.